we're embarking on a flight of fancy. Like the Guinness Book of Records, we're in search of the remarkable, the biggest, the hottest, the coldest, the farthest, the superlatives of the solar system. Record number one, Earth has the biggest living entity in the solar system. Off northeastern Australia, the coral of the Great Barrier Reef. Beyond that, our planet is short on records. Of course, where India leans into Asia, we have the mighty Himalayas. Everest, at over 29,000 feet, is the tallest mountain on Earth. Unfortunately, the powerful gravity of our planet stunts mountains. An earthly edifice five and a half miles high is a foothill on Mars. This Martian peak is nearly three times as tall as Everest. Even our moon is modest. Jupiter's Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, the size of a planet bigger than Pluto and Mercury. America's pride, the Grand Canyon, at its deepest, the walls tower a mile high. Peanuts. On Miranda, an ice moon of Uranus, there are cliffs 12 miles high. Planet Earth has one moon. Giant Saturn has trillions of moonlets. Elsewhere, there are volcanoes bigger than Texas. Geysers blasting higher than Everest. And storms that could eat our planet for breakfast. The highest temperature recorded on Earth is 136 degrees Fahrenheit. The measurement was made in Libya. Hot but almost frigid compared to the source of that heat, the sun. The sun is a star, a nuclear furnace hotter than anything else in the solar system. At its core, where fusion takes place, it's 25 million degrees. But at the surface, just 10,000 degrees. And in a sunspot, only 8,000 degrees. Yet somehow, and no one knows why, temperatures soar again in the solar atmosphere, the corona. They hit over 3 million degrees. Little bigger than our moon, Mercury orbits nearest the sun. It may be scorched and irradiated, but it's not the hottest planet. Surprising, since by day, temperatures here exceed 800 degrees. But we know little of Mercury, and the only detailed pictures date from the 70s. They show an ancient and barren world, airless and heavily cratered. Why so many craters? The sun, of course. Like a magnet, its powerful gravity attracts debris from space. With Mercury in the line of fire, the tiny planet takes a lot of hits.
sunup on Mercury is the strangest in the solar system. In some places, the sun seems to bounce like a beach ball. It has to do with the variable rate of Mercury's rotation. No sooner does the sun disappear, than it's up again. Now there's a new puzzle. Using radar from Earth, Mercury's too close to the sun for good optical observation, astronomers have found bright spots at the poles. They think it's ice. But ice so near the sun? Possibly, because at night, temperatures dip below minus 300 degrees. With the poles in perpetual darkness, ice from ancient comets may survive. Paradoxically, we must journey farther from the sun to find the hottest planet. The record belongs to Venus, in size, the twin of Earth. But Venus is a twin from hell. It's an inferno where the heat of the sun is trapped in an atmosphere 90 times denser than Earth's. Wherever you go, day or night, the temperature is the same, a scorching 900 degrees. Wonders of the Universe will continue on TLC. Wonders of the Universe continues on TLC. The contest for the greatest hit. Size for size, which body in the solar system has taken the biggest whack? When 19th century illustrators drew the moon, they imagined lofty mountains. They imposed the geology of Earth, great ridges and escarpments. As American astronauts discovered, the reality was blander. There are peaks higher than Everest and craters galore, but they seem rounded and squat. In part, it's because the moon is a little world. Surface features don't have to be far away before they curve over the horizon. Nevertheless, this crater is impressive. It's the Orientale Impact Basin, 580 miles across. Mercury is the site of a similar hit. Highlighted in color, it's called the Caloris Basin, 800 miles wide, but still no record breaker. Jupiter's Callisto doesn't win either, even with a basin 1,900 miles wide. The prize goes to Mimas, a tiny moon of Saturn. The crater is just 80 miles wide, but it's a third the diameter of Mimas. Saturn itself wins every beauty contest with its fabulous rings. Close up, the rings are tiny moonlets, trillions of them. In stately unison, they orbit the great planet. Lumps of icy rock, they range in size from grains of sand to chunks as big as houses. We've known about the rings for centuries, but until the Voyager probes of the early 80s, astronomers believed there were only half a dozen rings. Using a background star as reference, Voyager counted them. There were seven main bands comprising hundreds of rings. They're thought to be the debris of shattered moons. Indeed, it's amazing that Mimas didn't join them. Had the missile that dug its crater been much bigger, Mimas would have been pulverized. On to another record-breaking satellite. Io is one of 16 moons held captive by the Colossus of Jupiter. Io throws tantrums.
Volcanoes blast sulfurous gases 180 miles high. Io is the most active volcanic body in the solar system. But the biggest volcano is on Mars, although long since quiet, Olympus Mons. Here, in computer enhancement, it rises 15 and a half miles from the surrounding plain. It would cover the state of Colorado. Olympus Mons is one of nearly a score of enormous Martian volcanoes, relics of an exciting past. They poured sulfurous gases into an atmosphere many times thicker than today's. Mars was once a planet of weather, water, and possibly, who knows, of life. The triple volcanoes of Tharsis. We're skimming over Mars. Wisps of cloud lurk in hollows and canyons. Mars is barren and cold. With luck, the temperature might top 75 degrees at the equator in summer. A buzz along Mariner Valley, a rift so big it would span the United States from coast to coast. And there's Arcea, the southern triplet of Tharsis. Pavonis. And Ascrius. Gigantic volcanoes, a snapshot for the album, especially if you can frame them with the walls of Mariner Valley. But for walls to end walls, we must journey to Miranda. These ice cliffs are 12 miles high. Leap from the top in the weak gravity here, and you won't hit bottom for 12 and a half minutes. For winter sports, Miranda may be the Alps and Rockies of the future. This tiny moon is almost completely ice. It's like a shattered sphere that's been reassembled in a hurry. If you're passing Uranus, it's worth a stop. Wonders of the Universe will continue on TLC. Wonders of the Universe continues on TLC.